Good morning friends. The 14th day of February is Valentine's Day. It is also called Saint Valentine's Day or Feast of the Christian Martyr Saint Valentine. The day is a significant cultural, religious and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world. There are a number of martyrdom stories associated with various valentines. One such story, the most significant of them too, is that of an imprisoned Saint Valentine of Rome who used to minister to Christians persecuted under the Roman Empire in the 3rd century. Saint Valentine performed a miracle and seems to have restored sight to the blind daughter of his jailer Asterius before execution by Emperor Claudius II for not getting converted to Roman paganism he seems to have signed your valentine to her as well as per the story as a result of the miracle of the healing of the jailer's daughter his 46 member household family members and servants came to believe in Jesus and were baptized as per another story valentine performed weddings for christian soldiers who were forbidden to marry valentine of rome is known to have died on 14 february 269 and was buried in flaminia pope galasius 1 in ad 496 established the day as a feast the day became associated with romantic love courtly love love birds well love in its own merit towards the 18th century england valentine's day grew into an occasion when couples expressed their love for each other by presenting flowers offering confectionery and sending greeting cards known as valentines the symbols of valentine's day include the heart shaped outline doves and winged cupid cupid was the ancient roman god of love in all its varieties the counterpart of the greek god eros and the equivalent of amor in latin poetry handwritten valentines have given way to mass produced greeting cards since the 19th century in italy saint valentine's keys are given to lovers as a romantic symbol and an invitation to unlock the giver's heart saint valentine's day is not a public holiday in any country but it's an official feast day in many christian denominations like the anglican communion and the lutheran church many parts of the eastern orthodox church also celebrate the roman presbyter saint valentine the relics of saint valentine were kept in the church and catacombs of san valentino in rome it was an important pilgrim site throughout the middle ages The flower-crowned skull of Saint Valentine is exhibited in the Basilica of Santa Maria in Cosmedin, Rome. Roman Emperor Claudius II seems to have forbid wedding for soldiers in order to grow his army, believing that married men do not make good soldiers. Saint Valentine in view of affirming the right to marry performed clandestine christian weddings 
for soldiers who were forbidden to marry. Saint Valentine is also considered the saint of spring, the saint of good health, and the patron of beekeepers and pilgrims. A proverb says that Saint Valentine brings the keys of roots. Plants and flowers start to grow on this day. It has been celebrated as the day when the first work in the vineyards and in the fields commences. Valentine's Day has recently been celebrated as the day of love. But romantic connotations are attributed to Saint Valentine only after the great poet of the English literature, Geoffrey Chaucer, wrote a poem about Valentine's Day in the 14th century. The Parliament of Fowls is his romantic poem. It's a dream vision portraying a parliament for birds to choose their mates. This poem was in honor of the first anniversary of the engagement of 15-year-old King Richard II of England to 15-year-old Anne of Bohemia. Thus goes Chaucer's poem in modern English. For this was on St. Valentine's Day, when every bird comes there to choose his match. Of every kind that men may think of, and that so huge a noise they began to make, that earth and air and tree and every lake was so full, that not easily was there space for me to stand, so full was all the place. Furthermore, poem on Valentine's Day by William Shakespeare, decorated box of chocolates in the shape of a heart, exchanging greeting cards and flowers, cupcakes, huge spending in the name of Valentine's Day, internet popularity and the like, contributed to the celebrative value of Valentine's Day across the world. In the course of history, appreciation, love and friendship, family love, renewal of marriage vows, devotion and the like accompanied Valentine's Day. More and more countries in the world fell in suit celebrating the day in diverse ways. But a few countries, as usual, had a reservation too, even to the point of banning it. As far as India is concerned, India has the ancient traditions of Kama Sutra, worship of Shivaling and Devdasi Pratha, along with the erotic presentations on Khajuraho group of temples. All the same, the negative reaction from the right-wing thinkers to Valentine's Day in the recent times makes one frown in dismay. Nonetheless, the dire reality is that Valentine's Day is becoming more and more popular in India as in other countries. Some of the alternate phrases for Valentine's Day have been Candle Day, White Day, Black Day, Rose Day, Kiss Day, Silver Day, Green Day, Music Day, White Day, Movie Day, Hug Day, Lover's Day, and All Hearts Day. A few of the catchphrases of Valentine's Day are I love you, my heart is and always will be yours. All you need is love. Take my heart, a big bear hug for you. From our hearts to yours, all I wish is love and the like. As a matter of fact, there is something sacred and humane about all these love-related phrases. 
love is the seven substance of life love is divine love is human love makes life eternal love gives human life nobility dignity and decorum love pervades everything where there is no love there is nothing but emptiness but where there is love there is everything we should learn to honor love with due dignity love has to reign over everything in life that's what valentine's day is all about on the occasion of valentine's day 2022 on behalf of institute of harmony and peace that is new delhi i wish to make a strong appeal to my fellow humans in india and world over let us imbibe the sacred and humane spirit of love from valentines day live in a manner that is mutually related and thus give dignity to the humanity and divinity in around and above us What's more I have the pleasure of extending to the entire human family in India and across the globe warm greetings of Valentine's Day wow to the valentines thank you